Okay, in this video I'm going to go over making a foam insert for your toolbox to keep your tools organized um, on the Glowforge using Inkscape. So the first thing you want to do is measure your drawers and get your tools laid out. What I found to be useful is a backlit, um, like a light board. Uh, this is just a piece of acrylic I had and I got some set up on some toolboxes actually and uh, LED light underneath it. So. I'm laying out two squares here, the size of my drawer. These could be pieces of wood, anything anything dark that's not going to let light through. Uh, get it exactly the size of the inside of your toolbox, um, and then lay your tools out on it. Spend some time doing this so they're exactly where you want them. Um, once they're laid out, I turn the light on, and you see it'll be backlit here. And now what I want to do is I want to take a picture of it and I want to get as far away as possible from it and then I want to zoom in with my camera and I also want to be directly above it um, so you get as little distortion as possible. That's why you're as far as away as you can and zoomed in um, and then just snap a picture and this is the image. All right, first thing I'm going to do is import my photo. This one right here. Alright. And move this over to the side. Now I know that my rectangle is ten and three quarters. Okay. So it is ten and three quarters wide. Type that in. by seven and three quarters. All right, make that red. Drag this over about there. Shrink it using the control key about the right size. Zoom in. Just kind of trying to line up that top left corner. That's pretty close. Um, I'm going to go up to path and trace bitmap. So there it is. You can change the backlight. makes it real nice. You can change the threshold if you need to. We're pretty good here. And stick with that. Hit OK. Close it out. Now I'm just gonna oops, right, there's that. Get rid of the JPEG. And so now what I'm gonna do is select all this here, path, break apart, then I'm gonna do stroke, to make it black. And no fill. And now, now we got all our stuff here. So this just group that for a minute. Alright. Bring this back. Bring this down to that corner. When I'm scaling this, I'm holding the control key so it scales evenly. That should be good. All right. Now I'm going to ungroup it and select this outer one. Nope. Nope. There we go. Delete that. 
that. I'm going to come in here and delete some of this noise. Delete that. Delete that. Don't need that. Don't need that. That. Or that. All right. That should be it. Um, that's pretty quick and simple. I will save this and let's see. Bring it over to Goldforge. So we're gonna do save as. I've had better luck saving as a plain SVG. So that's what I've been doing. All right. So this is the last one I just did. We will upload a new design. Maybe oil. All right, there's a the design. It's actually lined up perfect with where it needs to be on the foam. Um, got my thickness at 0.45 inches. Settings, uh, I found for this particular stuff, speed at 200 and power about 95. Um, full power it's just seemed to melt everything, so don't want to do that. Do the same thing here. 200, 95, and hit print. Alrighty, here we are at the Glowforge, and we are going to cut this out. I hit the nice glowy button. There it goes. And I have uh, sped it up here about 10x to kind of just get through it. Um, and I actually stepped out of the room for a moment, which you are not supposed to do. And coming up right here, it looks like the air assist bumped it. You can watch it move right here. It just slid it a little bit. So... Uh, now, from here on out, my cut's going to be off. Luckily, it's, it was almost done. All I really had to do was do the cutout, which, once you can see, it starts doing the cutout. Um, it's really crooked. Uh, this is where I came back in and uh, realized that it had slid and moved a little bit. So, uh, you can just actually open the lid, which is what I did. And opening the lid sets the machine back to uh, where it needs to go. All right, so the Glowforge either blew this or um, either blew it away or the it's a little thick, so it may have gotten caught. It started, I noticed it, and it's starting to cut goofy. Not a big deal. I've got this one, which was another one I was doing. I'll just lay it on top. And we'll get her trimmed up. There we go. I think we got a little, little something there we're going to have to adjust. Like I would have been fine if it didn't didn't move when it was in there. I, by nature, am not an organized person, and 
spent the past few days kind of going through tools. We have a ton of tools around, lots of specialty tools. Uh, kind of sorted them out, got rid of a lot of duplicates, and uh, made foam inserts. So everything's got a place now, and if it's not where it's supposed to be, it's pretty obvious. Um, so we'll see how this works. Hopefully it works well for me and keeps my shop a little more organized and my tools a little more accessible. So thanks for watching and please subscribe if you like it. I'll be doing more videos on the Goldforge and also just uh, general videos and stuff I do around shop. Yeah, guys,